We're talking about well water systems and cycle stop valves. So a quick disclaimer, this video is not a promotion for any specific manufacturer or product. The opinions expressed here in this video are my own and based on my own personal first-hand experience using a cycle stop valve on my personal well system on my private property. Do your own research before altering your plumbing system and check with local codes to make sure you don't require a plumbing permit. So questions to ask about your well system before spending money to make any kind of modifications. Um, has your bladder tank failed? Is your pump failing? Is your pressure switch failing or out of adjustment? Is your check valve failing? Is your bladder tank air pressure set to the correct PSI? Was your tank, pump, piping, and pressure switch sized correctly to begin with? Is there a restriction somewhere in the system? For example, is the internals of your pipes corroded? Do you have a clogged filter, clogged aerator, etc.? So let's look at the major well system components, starting with your pump. Now, this is the type of pump I had on my well system. It's a submersible pump with a built-in check valve. You may have a shallow well jet pump if you're drawing water off of a rainwater system or out of a large pond, etc. But I think most folks will recognize this style of pump. After that, usually there'll be a torque arrester and a pitless adapter towards the top of your, your, your wellhead. Uh, the water then moves on to usually a one-way check valve. And then that usually moves on to your tank T and your bladder tank or pressure tank that's usually pre-charged with a set amount of air attaches to your tank T. So water comes in the T. It can either flow to your bladder tank or flow out to your house. And those two quarter inch female pipe thread ports you see on top is where you would screw in your uh, pressure switch that would control the on and off functionality of your well pump. The other port is where you would screw in your PSI gauge. So there may be other iterations of this setup. You may have a relief valve, you may have something additional, but this is a general overall layout of your standard well system. Wow. So again, if your pressure switch is out of adjustment, either the cut in or cut out pressure is not correct, uh, if your bladder tank has ruptured and the whole tank is full of water and you no longer have that, that, that air pressure inside of it, that could be one of your issues. So if you knock on the tank and it's solid all the way top to bottom, or maybe it's full of sediment from your, your well, maybe time to replace that tank. Um, there's a Schrader valve on top of that pressure tank, if you look closely, where you can hook up a pressure gauge to check what your, your current pressure is in your bladder tank. What is a cycle stop valve? The theory of operation of a cycle stop valve is that it is designed to regulate the water pressure and flow rate on the supply side of your plumbing system to maintain a constant pressure and flow rate at your plumbing fixtures. A cycle stop valve is designed to eliminate the on and off cycling of your well pump, thus prolonging the life of your well pump, supposedly, and reducing energy consumption and giving you steady pressure at your plumbing fixtures. Now, for those claims to be true, there has to be certain situa situation specific. 
So be aware of that. So would a cycle stop valve be right for me? Well, if you want constant pump pressure and no pump cycling during long water usage, like landscape irrigation or showers, and the total pump capacity is not exceeded, then a cycle stop valve may be right for you. If the total water usage exceeds the rated pump capacity, the pump will stay on regardless of whether or not you have a standard well system or a cycle stop valve installed. Why? Because the bladder tank will never fill up and the pressure switch will never reach its cutoff pressure setting. So if, if you're running full out with no restriction where that pump is working hard as it can and it's not satisfying the pressure switch or filling up that bladder tank, the pump's going to stay on, regardless of whether you have a cycle stop valve installed or not. Keep in mind, as pump pressure increases, the amp draw also increases. And the initial surge of electricity on a residential well pump at startup is actually fairly small and it's fairly short-lived for a fraction of a second. Some alternative solutions. This gentleman, another YouTube creator, his name is Larry uh, Elderman. He is a uh, uh, engineer. As you see, this is his channel. He's produced a lot of content specifically about cycle stop valves and alternatives to cycle stop valves. Uh, he's not a big fan of cycle stop valves and he gives you very detailed reasoning behind why he is not a fan of cycle stop valves and he debunks some of the claims about cycle stop valves. Again, they do work in specific circumstances. But again, do your homework before you buy one. And they need to be installed in the correct location on your well system. And there are alternative solutions to cycle stop valves like pressure relief valves with a bypass loop and a throttling valve, which can be simply a gate valve or a globe valve, uh, an automatic pump controller, flow switch, etc. I'm not gonna go into these in detail in this video. I don't wanna make a long video here. You can check out Larry's uh, YouTube channel if you wanna know more in-depth information about other alternatives. Now, as I said, I used a cycle stop valve on my personal property and I do not have any um, electric bills to show you if my electric bill went up or down or stayed the same. Um, I can attest that when I would take a shower after I installed the cycle stop valve, that my shower would not be interrupted with fluctuating water pressures. Whereas before I had the cycle stop valve, when I would take a shower, uh, you get in the shower and you might have full pressure. As you take your shower, the water pressure would start to decrease and then you would feel the water pressure increase when the pump kicked on. And the cycle stop valve eliminated that specific issue. I hope this information helps. Please like, share, subscribe, Leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover. Thanks for watching.